so. right, we're, we're here in the SFO airport waiting on Mike to pick us up. Uh, what we're going to do now is recap our top five events of our 17-day trek in Korea and in Japan. Um, top Number one would be, top which one? Number one would be meeting Nian Huan in um, Hakata. Hakata Information <laughs> Desk and having her take us around to Nag Nagasaki, Nagasaki. the A-bomb place, and even get at having her friend taking us in as into their dormitory and having us oh, stay yeah. there for a night. Yes. That was pretty intense. And that was my first time ever to use a, what kind of shower is it? Um, public bath. Public bath. I didn't use public bath, public shower. So, yeah. Um, where that night we stayed at this one guy's place, a person we didn't even know. Complete strangers. Yeah, these Japanese folks who study who Chinese folks. Who were, who were, yeah, chi um, Chinese guys who grew up studying um, Japanese in high school and decided to study abroad. And okay, yeah, so so pretty much uh, that was just staying at that place. Mm -hmm. So what happened uh, at Nagasaki? Oh yeah, on well, the train. This, Mute guy over here, Ben Kai. Yes. I've never seen him so silent during this whole trip. He was like completely silent. He was just like a bystander, like playing invisible Ben. Just like every time invisible I said Ben, ben. he's like, mm -hmm. uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, every time I needed him, you go, like, I remember. He only saved my life one time, which was when we were coming back from Nagasaki, going back to Hakata. I go, Ben, sit up here. It was like, he's like, fine, just turn the chair around. And it's like, okay, I'll turn the chair around. And that's the only time ever that you actually made up for everything. But the other times you were just gone, invisible mute. Well, the reason I was silent was because they were speaking Mandarin. And it, wow, I, I can't believe how bad my Mandarin is. He it's it was like, Japanese. It, it sounded like just them speaking Japanese and I didn't understand a word they were saying. That's how bad it was. So I couldn't really help them too much with the conversations and stuff. But on the train, what happened? Oh yeah. Um, was there an event? When we were in towards Nag Nagasaki, right? She hands me this bracelet. Like, she like, here, a gift for you. I guess like uh, a present for good gesture, right? I was like, oh my gosh, at that moment I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. I was like, I was freaking out. I was like, Ben, help me out. He's like. Nope, you gotta figure this out on your own. He just totally like left me hanging right there. I was like, oh dude, that's so messed up. So I had to think fast, and then I was like, man, I can't wear this. I was like, man, dude, I don't wear bracelets. I don't even wear a watch. Like, and then I was like, oh, I can't wear this. And then somehow she brought up the fact that it was a present from her mom. I was like, oh, no way. I can't take it. It's from your mom. I understand your gesture and your thought. And I just can't, I can't accept this. It's like, somebody just can't do it right now. And then, yeah. So the, after that, the whole day, I was just tripping out left and right. It got to a point where when she was asking us to choose two pens with like hearts on them, <laughs> I was like, no, you're that. not asking me. To Those pick. are not gifts for me, I hope. You better not be. They even that, she even has Ben and Ben thought because of that, that she was hitting on him. Awesome. But I don't think that was the case. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> well, in the end, we found out it wasn't. Yeah, right? thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right, I think that rounds up our top one event of the whole but, trip. But, but, oh, come on. but all right, right, all right. right. What, what is that? But the reason she. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, no. well, whatever. Yeah, we're we're, we're right. ended here. Right, there. <laughs>